There you go. So it's May 22nd. It was about mid 70s or so today. Right around 70, give or take. Depending on how close you are to the Lake Superior. And uh, everything has popped overnight. Everything has gone from a bud or not even a bud to leaflets. And then also the tent worms have shown up. We're gonna call them tent worms. And you go on YouTube and you look at, you know, how to get rid of them. I've tried spraying them with, you know, something like a garlic mixture or something. It doesn't really work. And uh, you go on YouTube and all the old timers, what they're doing is they're, uh, they're going out there with like a can of hairspray and a lighter and they torch them off and that's kind of what they do. So I don't, I'm not really into the hairspray thing. So you can also just, the old timers talk about just crushing them. And because we don't have that many cultivars, you know, actual trees that we're really trying to pr protect the genetics of, um, it's, it's not too much for us to just go around and we grab them and we do a little squishing and that that's effective for us but last year I was going around and uh, the, the caterpillars that drove me so bananas that I was spraying them and I was also finding leaves you know on, on fully developed leaves that were curled over with a webbing almost like a 10 caterpillar kind of thing obviously not 10 caterpillar but something and uh, I was so bananas about the 10 caterpillar that I was actually started kind of squishing these leaves and finally one day what I should have done in the first place is open it up and what it was inside was a wasp. It was like a little nursery or a cocoon, you know, not a cocoon because it was just webbing, but uh, it was a little uh, a nest for a, a wasp that would come out and obviously prey on the things that are preying on your fruit trees. So keep an eye out for that. You see one of those leaves curled over kind of like a, you know, kind of like a, it almost looks like a taco shell all webbed over open it up and take a look and it's just a little wasp in there teeny tiny little wasp that probably eats those guys thanks for watching have a great day